What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be kicking off the first video in the Flyways Collective Reaction Series for this year. For those of you that didn't see these videos from last year, I'll be watching one hunt from each of the other five Flyways Collective members and then I'll just be sharing my thoughts on that hunt as we watch it. I'm going to do this from a learning perspective, so talk about the things that I like that they did and how I could apply those to my own hunting situation, as well as maybe some of the things that I would have done differently. And to kick off the first week of this series, I'm going to be taking a look at one of my buddy Jordan from Duck Gun Chronicles Michigan Duck Hunts. It's going to be a pretty good one, I think. I know they had quite a few good hunts up there last year, quite a few awesome mi mixed bags. So we'll get right into this one. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, they're going to do it here. They're going to do it here. Yeah. <laughs> it's banding. I believe it. It's a good way to start a video. When you hear it's banded to start a video. What's going on, fellas? Out Definitely here for a good another book. duck hunt. You can't see us yet. I don't want to turn the light because it's like one minute till shooting light. But we're about, pretty, we're about to get pretty out dark out so there. So up quite a few coming out here. Up here with the cabins again. Morning. Morning. Yes. You, you guys got predictions? It sounds good out here. It sounds good. <laughs> I predict at least six ducks. Six ducks? There you go. What do you, what do you got, Cav? I hope we get limits, but at least eight. Yeah. There you go. Six well, or eight I'm birds. I'm not gonna complain about that That's... right there. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, stay tuned fellas. It's about to freaking get hot. Hey, the flock right in front of us, 12 o'clock too. 12 o'clock. They're working the spread. The three are coming. The environments that they hunt up here in Michigan really are cool to me. A lot of open water, but kind of marshy stuff. And then also Jordan gets into quite a bit of swampy stuff up there as well. You hear cranes in the background. That's always cool. Working the spread. Oh, it doesn't look like the most here. ideal hide to me. I mean, they're just hiding in some marsh grass. We'll see if it works out, but I would definitely have probably tried to get a little more top cover. But you gotta take what, what you can get in some of the situations. Looks like the birds are working pretty well. Oh, not a bad pass. Down. Oh crap. Ooh. He sailed on one there. Would we get one? You don't. That one's crashed. That one's dead. The other one, he's dead out in the middle? Well, I don't know. Where'd the diver go? Definitely nice. not an ideal pass there, but with the hide that they've got, I mean, you can't pass up that shot. I don't know. They did it good. Well, they ended up doing it good, but man, if we were back five more yards, I think we could have busted them the first time. Yep. Band. I think Kevin's, no. <laughs> Kevin's right there. Good boy, Kobe. I told you, Kev, we were going to get another one. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Give. <laughs> Got us another one, boys. That's insane. Good For those of you that didn't watch Jordan's videos last season, the Kevins, who are who he's hunting with right now, are absolute band magnets. The amount of banded birds, especially banded mallards that they shoot, is crazy. I'm grinning ear to ear. I cannot believe the freaking luck. So, first bird that comes in, man, it's a hen, but it's banded. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Oh, that's so cool. So, um, we actually had a whole flock finish in pretty good. Um, and Kevin's going to look at his shot cam to see who shot it for sure. <laughs> so who all shot at it? <laughs> I know I hit it. I don't know if you hit it too, but. I think you got him, Jordan. <laughs> I'll have to look on shot cam. 
That was the lead, the lead one of the three close ones. Definitely Jordan getting that one. Um, so stay tuned for the answer on that. Um, but then we think we crippled another one out here it's on the water. It's dead out there. So we're gonna go grab it. Um, hopefully we're two for two on the mans. We'll see. <laughs> that other bird's floating right there by the island, right out in front of it. Okay. Alrighty fellas, so head across the lake to search for the duck. Had Chief in the back of the kayak, but once we got over here in the cattails, I actually had him work the bank because I, I didn't see it floating anywhere. So I figured it was alive and had walked up into the cattails. Um, but we spent a good 30 minutes paddling around searching for it um, on the side of the bank. He actually hit the point of the island and the bird was up there. So um, won't be able to show you on the GoPro, but sent Chief up in there. And man, stellar retrieve because he was able to jump up in there, chase it down, still lively, and bring it back. So um, definitely, definitely uh, good to have a dog on, on retrieves like that because I never would have found it. Alrighty, fellas. Well, GoPro died on that, but Chief was able to get the retrieve. Um, actually, I mean, we searched for a good while up and down. I mean, you can see it out here. You can see out there all the cattails, up and down the cattails. Knew it kind of went down there close to that, and anyways sent him up in there and finally he worked around and, and pulled it was still alive still running around so um super glad chief was able to get on that one <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately though two in so <laughs> so i'll just have to be careful after that but whatever they banned the hens too <laughs> i'm not going to complain on that one i so, guess no band on the second one two for three on that little group hopefully we see some more so stay tuned yeah, you got an update, Kev, on your prediction? Predict I need to start shooting better. <laughs> we should have, we should have crushed that group of birds. Yeah. It's a good thing you picked up our slack. Well, it hadn't been happening until now. So, what do you think, Kevin? That was horrible shooting on my part. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we get some more ducks to work in, though. But yeah, they did it good. They did it really good. But wait for them to come back from feed right yeah. now. Yeah, that was a beautiful decoy. Mm, those geese are pretty tall still. I don't know if it, they got some geese decoys out. Hopefully they'll work them. Where? Kind of take back what I said earlier about their cover. From Jordan's GoPro perspective, it looks a lot better. From the perspective I'm looking at right now, from like the side and behind, it doesn't look as great, but they have decent, decent enough top cover, I'd say. Definitely could be better. That solo's gonna do it right here. Gotta be where the birds wanna be, though. Oh yeah, that's a good decoy. Oh, no one went after the one that was on the Chief, water. Over. Maybe it was a hen. Chief! Chief! Over! That! That! Kobe, fat! Chief's on the live one, I think, but. <laughs> I'm guessing that was a hen, because otherwise that was. That was Jordan's bad, not shooting that one on the water. I mean, that was his lane, the far most left bird. Black duck.
black duck. A drake too. Nice. Dead bird. Hunt him up. Let's go. Come on. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Hunt him up. Hunt him up, chief. Hunt him up. Bird. Come on. Come on. Bring him here. Come on. Bring him here. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Good boy. Here, here. Nice work, Come Chief. Come on. Good stuff. Good boy. Give, give, Chief. Give, good boy. Nice pair of black ducks. See, that's the cool thing about Michigan, like Mississippi Flyway, but they're still getting into the black ducks pretty decent. I might. Well, if nobody else wants to, I'm, I'm trying to mount a bird this year. This one might be it. I ain't gonna lie. Unless somebody else wants it. <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. Yep, they're coming in. Those two are coming, they're cupping in. Come on. Right, right up in front, they're coming in. Caught the back end of that bird. You get that one coming over top, coming over top, right in front. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice mallard. Alrighty fellas, well, we've been getting some action. Birds working in like a charm. So, um, I mean, tons of birds, tons of action. Maybe not tons, a lot. <laughs> but more than we are accustomed yeah. to here lately. So, um, but two black ducks, and you guys just dropped that fat northern greenhead. So, I'm gonna pick that one up. We got them all tucked back up in here, but I am thrilled with how the hunt's going. Big old stub mallee right there. <laughs> it's a cool mixed bag. Well, triple curl. Oh, Same triple sort of curl. mixed bag I mean, we're looking for on the east coast a lot of times. About as big and northern as they get. That is a pretty one. And these ones, I would say, <laughs> are pure. Are not hybrids. Yep. So yeah, the first the first the black comments, duck but. that Jordan <laughs> shot last year had white above the speculum, which telltale sign That's for one. having Andrew. mallard in it. I don't know well enough. But those are pure, no yeah, white above the speculum. Yep. That's a cool oh. deal. And that one's a good old chief. Wouldn't have had this one might be going on the wall. That's a nice one. <laughs> Hopefully taxidermy can fix, you know, a little head damage, but alrighty fellas. Well, I gotta pack up short, so shortly. Hopefully we get one more flock in the next 20 minutes or I'm out of here. But you, you guys will probably stay around and we'll probably stick her out for another I bet you'll another hour or so anyway. Yeah, you'll probably load into them too. So she found another good retrieve, send them in the brush. Just work the bank until he got birdie and sure enough he, he came out with it so that's what we have him for good old duck dogs i love watching kobe chief doing great too getting out there and, and kobe pulling them out of the decoys what do you think kobe both of them make me <laughs> realize what i'm missing by not having yeah, a oh, duck a dog no, that's definitely not a hybrid there uh -huh. over here before too long though i will have my own duck dog it's just a matter of time Got to finish up college, and then as soon as I'm right here, done with right that. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> got him. <laughs> I hit him on my first yeah. shot, but then you guys freaking, yeah. one of you guys cleaned him up. Yeah, Come on, buddy. Come on, Chief. <laughs> Dude, this hunt is freaking insane. <laughs> Come on, here. Yeah. And then it's a hen. It's a hen. No, it's a young Drake. Young Drake. That's all right. Oh, that's a smallie. That's a small Good one. Good call out by Kev did, there. Did you or did you he was right on the money. My that's a young one, yeah. Is my freaking GoPro running? <laughs> that thing ain't even yep. fully mopped. 
molted. Let me see this. <laughs> Three different species now for the mixed bag. And I mean, arguably three of the most sought that after species. Yeah, he that thing's a dude. This is insane. <laughs> He's a pintail. So we're over here taking pictures, looking at the black ducks. <laughs> and I turn over there and there's a duck, duck. And it is just cupped in, as hard as you can cup in. And I take first shot. Maybe, maybe dust it a little bit, but I'm it wasn't. Sure you you, you, you put, you put <laughs> but it wasn't coming down. It wasn't coming down at all for me. And it came right over top. I shot again, I whiffed, and I'm aimed right on it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> bah, bah, like this thing just gets dropped from the sky. So, um, he's a little rough shape, but it's a young Drake. And he's down, so we got him. <laughs> Should be down. This is unbelievable hunt. A pintail, black ducks, and a banded mallard. Like, is there a better hunt you can have? I don't Not know. in Michigan. No. Not in Michigan. Not in That's Michigan. That's insane. We'll go ahead and wrap up this video there, though, with Jordan in his garage. That was a great hunt. The banded mallard, your black ducks, pintail. I mean, what else more can you ask for? Like they said, in Michigan, that's pretty much as good as it gets. And the only thing I maybe would have done differently is set up a little bit further back in the cove. One thing I noticed is some of the birds that they shot at were, you know, not in the decoys. They're a little bit tall still. And it looked like they maybe the birds were trying to just set back into that cove a little bit further. I'm not sure what time of year this was. I believe it was in December. So a little bit later in the season, maybe those birds were looking for just a little bit more cover. But uh, that's really the only thing I could nitpick from the hunt. I'd say, you know, besides that, great dog work. They shot pretty well. The birds that they did shoot at, they had some second opportunities on, and they made the most of those opportunities. So uh, definitely a good hunt in my book, and I'll be looking forward to seeing more of Jordan's hunts from Michigan this season. I know he loves going up there, and I always enjoy the different environments that they get into. I'll leave a link to his channel at the top of the description, and if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. And if you guys want to see any more off-season videos, videos other than these flyways collective reaction videos let me know in the comment section below because i definitely will have some more time uh, before we get into hunting season to hammer out a few more off-season videos hope everybody out there is staying safe god bless and thanks for watching